Hello everybody, my name is Nathan and here today we are about to check out Luna's one and only by one of their new members, Goon. And I know what you guys may be thinking, it's been months and months and months since I've last done um, another music video analysis and reaction. I was just doing homework, then all of a sudden Luna just uploads Goan's music video without telling me. Um, I wasn't sure when it was gonna drop. I knew it was gonna be soon, but I didn't know it was gonna be today. I am very much into Luna. Um, they are one of, if not my favorite, um, girl rookie group of 2018 as of right now. They technically haven't debuted yet, but they're releasing one member um, every single month, and there's a hidden lore behind them, and I really, really love that. And I'm reading the description here, but it says that Go On's title track of One and Only is about self-love. So that is pretty interesting to me. Um, I have no idea what to expect in this music video, but other than that, I have no idea what this video holds for us, but I am expecting to see Chu or Eve's pop up somewhere in there. I'll definitely keep an eye out for all of the Luna cameos and the um, and the Easter eggs that are gonna go on in this music video. But without further ado, guys, let's get started, shall we? <laughs> Alright, let's see if I remember how to react to a music video in 3, 2, 1. Okay, go on. Let's see what we have here. Jeez, first time doing a reaction in a while. Okay. So, I'm gonna try to be really an a analytical here. Okay, it's pretty interesting how the music video is shot vertically. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Um, that aspect of the music video is shot vertically. Okay, so who is she running from in that hallway? Yo, that is kind of creepy though. The two girls in the back. Okay, so she can rap too. I don't need no Garden of Eden. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, there are two girls that are always constantly behind Go One. So, is that Eves or Chu? Because they're the two um they're the two members that don't have a subunit yet. And yeah, like constantly, I'm seeing like two girls constantly following Go One. So I think it may be safe to assume that that's Eve and Chu. Okay, she changed to blonde. Okay. Hey, there they are. Okay, I saw I saw Chu. I saw Chu, but I'm not sure if that was Eve's right next to her. Oh, never mind. There, there's Eve's right there. <laughs> huh. Okay, so a crown was bestowed upon her head and... Huh. Oh, okay. So, she's part of them now. Okay, I'm starting to see it all coming together. Because she just changed to the uniform that Eve and Shoes were wearing. Okay, this is really interesting right here. So, gotta wait till the very end because they're known for putting something. Like an Easter egg at the very end. And... Nothing. Okay. Or at least I don't think that was nothing. Anyways, guys, let's get into this, shall we? Alright, everybody, so here we had Go One's or Luna's one and only. Now, going back to what I was reading earlier in the description about one and only is about self love. Now, when I think about self love, um, I always think about um, mental health. 
Um, me personally, I'm a very big advocate for mental health. Um, I don't believe in just in the whole stigma of, oh, it's just all in your head, you're just overreacting again. Like, no, I don't believe in that stigma, like, at all. I personally believe that self-love is one of the most important factors in your life. You need to learn to um, better, like, appreciate yourself, you know, like, when you're not all the negative things that your mind tells you that you are. You are, you are loved, you are appreciated. Those things I really like to keep in my mind. And if there's one thing that I learned from a professor that I had um, a couple of years ago, um, I remember her saying that uh, you are worth more than your biggest mistake. Like, think of the biggest mistake that you've ever made in your life. You are worth so much more than that. And I really like how this song is talking about self-love too. And the whole theme of self-love, like, you're not on your own, it's kind of sprinkled throughout the entire music video, um, when it shows Gohan being all alone by herself in, um, either dark rooms or the dark hallways. And there are even some points where she's hiding underneath, um, a velvet sheet. And her hiding in the shadows and darkness, and her, like, hurtling up into a very close position, it symbolizes loneliness. And that's a thing that some people go through as well, having that overwhelming sense of loneliness. Like, they don't have that social circle to, um, feel cherished. Gohan is also seen, um, sitting at this one long table, just by herself, but with two more seats at the very end. I want to say these last two chairs at the end of the table are, um, Chu's and Eve's chairs, because they are the only two Luna members that don't have a subunit yet. And also, one more thing, I really want to point this out, and I, re re I really want to give credit to this music video's, um, cinematography team, um, but throughout the video, like, the way how it's filmed, it shows, uh, it shows two girls, or two silhouettes, behind Gohan at almost all, t all the time, and it's safe to assume that that's Eve and Chu. And throughout the music video, as it progresses, it gets more and more obvious that it's them. But as they approach Gohan, Gohan is just running away. And I really want to emphasize that, because when people are lonely, they are ultimately scared of how people are going to judge them. You know, it's the social pressures of today's world where we have to fit in with a specific, um, with a specific group. And I really like how this music video plays to that. And as Golan is hiding and as she is running away from both Eve and Chu, it really shows what lonely people go through when it comes to social situations. They want to run away. And then like two thirds in the way throughout the music video, Golan's hairstyle changes from like straight black to a curly blonde. At first, I kind of thought this was kind of like jarring to the eye, like seeing like an instant change like that. But however, that's symbolic. Now going back to what I said about lonely people, how they want to run away from um, the social pressure of the world. I was going to comment on it, but I didn't want to sound mean, but I think this is a good reason to bring it up right now. Because her hair when she was hiding and when she was running away, it was just straight black. It was just straight and black. At first I was going to call it generic, but I think that that means something. I think that's how she's trying to conform to how society wants her to look like. Or her just trying to conform to a specific norm. However, when Golan's hairstyle changes, not only, not only do the background dancers, not only are they revealed already, but Golan is suddenly more expressive. She's smiling as she's dancing. When it was just her black hair, her facial expressions were just completely stoic. But then her, but then her hair changed, and I'm not sure which member it was, but either Eve and Ch or Chu, um, they bestowed upon her head a crown. So it kind of shows that they're rewarding her for being herself. I really, really love how this music video shows how important self-love is. That there are people willing to be with you and to listen to you, and there are people in the world that will accept you for who you are. And that was clearly evident here with Eve and Chu accepting Gohan into their lives as evident from um, the scene where Gohan changes into the school uniform that Chu and Eve had um, in their music videos. Or was it just Chu's music video? Not 100% sure. But yes guys, that is pretty much enough about my gushing um, when it comes to mental health and self-love. <laughs> Performance-wise, I thought the song was pretty good. Um, I enjoyed it thoroughly. I think that the rapping part is going to take a little bit more time to getting used to in my eyes because I'm not really much of a fan of Toxing rap. 
um, but more of like, I really want more when it comes to, um, whenever I hear, uh, that happen in K-pop. I, you know, I want to hear more of that, because talk singing, it doesn't really show talent, it just shows that you have a voice. Um, but I really want to hear more from Go On, and I really think that she's more of, like, lead vocal material. Um, but it's kind of too soon to tell, but I sincerely enjoy this music video, especially the message and the cinema, uh, the, the cinematography um, that this whole music video had. But guys, as always, I want to know your thoughts. What do you guys think of Go One's one and only? What elements of the music video did I not mention that you guys probably noticed in this music video? And are you guys as hyped for Luna's official debut as 12 members as much as I am? Because, uh, guys, I am pretty dang hyped. Let me know in more in the comment section down below! But, yes everybody, that's my time. My name is Nathan, SYJ Official, and until then, see you guys next time. Bye! Nana!